Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of first person EVA, which is being put together by a forum user CodeFox, and this is actually a resurrection of a previously abandoned mod, similar to the DEMV rovers that we looked at not too long ago. Uh, this first person EVA mod was made back in point two three, then abandoned, and it's being brought back now into point nine zero by our uh, fella Code Fox there on the forums. And I am looking forward to how this is going to progress, because I remember seeing this way back in point two three, but I didn't decide to do a video on it or anything uh, because there were some issues. And while well, I'm looking at it now, because while well, there still are those issues, Code Fox is hoping to fix them and uh, you know change some of the bugs, add new features, potentially even some new texturing uh, from what it says on the forum posts. And so I'm intrigued to see where it goes from here. So let's just uh, go ahead and jump to a rover we have on the ground here so we can see what the first person EVA has to offer and also look at one of the first kind of buggy things that the mod does have. Now we can just get Pepe here who is doing a little jig in his chair there out on EVA and just uh, fall to the ground. I really should have put a better ladder on that but oh well now that he is on the ground here Normally, we just see him in a third-person view, and now you can zoom in pretty far until you're staring at his backpack. But, you know, I've always, I've always wanted to see from their perspective, and thus why I'm excited to be actually playing around with this mod today. Now, you have multiple options of how to actually get into the first-person view. Uh, you can either right-click on him, as I have here, and you can click Activate Camera, and that will go into first-person mode. Uh, and, or, alternatively, you can press the minus or plus keys on your keyboard. Uh, hold on one second, there we go. Minus key will bring us into first person view. Uh, plus will take us out, I believe V will also take you out of the first person view. Uh, but yes, let's go into the view here. And we can zoom out and zoom in as you can normally. Uh, except it seems to be telescopic vision now that you are in the Kerbal view. And if you hold down the right mouse key, or mouse button, rather. You can uh, look around with your head inside here and see the inside of the helmet, which is quite cool. I like that. Imagine having this with an Oculus. That would be wonderful. And uh, if you hold down the left mouse button, nothing happens here. But it will when we go into space. You'll see that in a little bit. And we can move forward and back and side to side, etc. And you may notice... It's a little juddery with uh, the movement, which is an issue with the mod at the moment. That is because, for some reason, when on planets with gravity, so basically any planet, you get this kind of judderiness to the moving around. You can do it. And so we can still use the first person EVA, but it is a little bit jarring just seeing the camera bounce about. But just to sort of show you the controls here, uh, the W on your keyboard will move you forward. A and D turn you left and right. And S rotates you around just continuously, uh, rather than backpedaling. I don't know why that's the case, but that seems to be the option here. So we just continuously spin, and oh boy, poor Pepe here is probably getting a bit dizzy. Uh, but yes, we can move around pretty freely uh, in a first-person mode. We can still jump, which is interesting to say the least, but I do love that we can see the helmet and when we do things like jumping, you can kind of see the head bobbing in there. It's very cool, very nice. There are a few other limitations. For instance, I'm trying to right click and I cannot, of course, bring up anything like uh, EVA reports and stuff like that. Uh, there is a hope to fix that in the future, but for now, uh, you actually have to exit the camera view to do anything like plant flags, take surface sample, etc. Uh, it's just purely for movement and as I said, on bodies with gravity, somewhat juddery of move movement. But let's go to these back to the Space Center and over to the tracking station once it loads. And we're actually going to head into space. Wait, oh no, that's Pepe here. Over to Orbital 1 that I put up here and let's 
actually accelerate time so we are back in the daylight so you can see things more easily. Even though I have gone ahead and put a lot of lights on this thing, still it'd be nice to actually properly be able to see stuff here. And let's just fly and show you where the EVA first person view really comes to shine. This this is the best place overall for the first person view and that is when in space. Let's just grab good old uh, Bill here, get him on an EVA and we will let go and turn on his jetpack here and let him just settle in. Always good, always good. All right, one one interesting thing that this mod does do, which, oh boy, why is he just continuously spinning around? That's, there we go, we've, we've gained control. One of the interesting things that this does uh, when we're in even third-person mode, this kind of breaks the normal system for moving around with the jetpack. Normally, if I faced this way with the camera and pressed W, our Kerbal would go forward. He'd rotate and go forward. If that doesn't happen anymore with the first-person mode installed. What you instead have to do is hold down the left mouse button, like I was saying earlier, and hold it up and move the mouse up to tilt down, Hold it down and move down towards the bottom of the screen to rotate yourself upwards. And that is how you actually change your direction. And it's it's a little finicky to get used to, but you will eventually. And let's go into our first person view here. Tilt up. Tilt up. There we go. We can rotate with the Q and E. Oh boy, I am rolling around here. <laughs> we can rotate with the Q and E like we normally can, and of course, WASD will move you about that way. And it does take some getting used to. I'm definitely still not quite used to controlling it in first-person mode, because it is, as I said, finicky, but, but very fun. I do enjoy it, because, well, you have an entirely different view of the world now. That is our lovely space station there. Well, crappy little space station, really. And we can fly around it in a first-person view. And, uh, of course, as with before, look around, seeing the inside of our helmet. And we, again, can't interact with the world. So if we right-click on stuff, we can't do anything with it, which would be cool if you could. You know, if you, uh, for instance, needed to repair, like, a solar panel or something like that, it'd be cool if you could do it from this mode to actually see it in person rather than, uh, you know, not... But nonetheless, still, the first-person view is very cool. I Once the movement bugs get worked out and the controls for your RC pack made a little bit easier to use, because as I said, it takes getting used to. I'm still not quite used to it yet. But uh, nonetheless, it is very fun. And just a, a whole different perspective on viewing this lovely game. Uh, but yeah, so that is Bill floating around here, so let's actually head back to the Space Center, because I want to try one last thing with this first-person view. As I said, when you're on a planet, it's juddery. But I'm curious, because, well, this is really the first time I'm actively playing with this, besides messing around with the, uh, you know, trying to figure out the... What is it? The jetpack controls. There we go. So if we, I go to Minmus here, I have this rover, if we fly, with a Kerbal up here. I'm wondering if gravity affects that jitteriness that we get with the camera. So let's let go, have him float down, and we will do the right click, activate camera. Yes, unfortunately. Well, actually, we're still getting it. But it does seem to be less. I think why the camera judders like that is whenever they take a step and hit the ground, we get a shake of the camera. And since we're in a lower gravity environment, it's not nearly as noticeable because we're taking much bigger steps to actually do any movement. Uh, but still, not quite as jarring as it was on Kerbin. So that is something good to note, but again, hopefully this issue will be solved in future versions of the now-resurrected first-person EVA. Uh, but yes, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today, and of course that you go and check out this mod, as it is loads of fun. 
Again, still kind of buggy, but worth it because it's just, it's, it's fun. Like I said, whole new perspective on the Kerbal Universe. And imagine this with the Oculus support. That would just be so cool to be floating around. They just need to fix the judderiness bugs on planets, make the, <laughs> the jetpack controls in space a little less wonky, and... This will be this would be an amazing way to play the game. Do everything in first person. That would just be wonderful. But yes, do go and check it out. Links as always in the description. And of course, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today and that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching my friends and as always, have a good one. <laughs>